Hey everybody, welcome to Joe's Kitchen Capers. Listen, I just thought I would touch base if you, like me, started on the four phase fat elimination protocol last week, you would be in week two of phase two like me. Now, on I thought this round, this is my fourth round and I actually thought it was going to be quite easy and only something I'd have to do for a couple of weeks. But as we know, things change. I put on just over a kilo on our fat loading days and then I was so happy with the results. The first couple of days of phase two, I actually dropped 1.2 kilos, 1.1 kilos and I thought, wow, this is going so good. Then I got some of the symptoms, was a bit headachey. One particular night, I just hit the wall and was so exhausted, I could barely keep my eyes open from four o'clock onwards. So that night, I just made it a priority to get everyone's dinner ready and then I just crashed really early. I think it is important just to listen to what your body needs and if you are in that situation and can just go and have a nap or something to do so, I just went to bed early that night. It, it didn't really um, affect anyone else but me. Then this week, I have had major gains. I've had two days of gaining 400 grams and then an, yesterday I gained a kilo. So I don't think it's hormonal. I think I'm past all that stage of things, but I'm not sure. The only thing I can really think of is that I've introduced a few of the foods that I wasn't eating that are on our list. One particular vegetable that we're allowed and I love is cauliflower, but it causes me quite a bit of inflammation and quite a bit of pain. So I've taken that out. I've also, in our free vegetables, I can't have tomatoes or onions and I've reintroduced both of those this round just to see if I had any flare-ups, which I did. So really sad, as a chef it breaks my heart a little bit to take those out of my diet, but I've lived with pain for so long that I'm just, I'm over it. I'm not prepared to have anything in my diet that causes me pain anymore. So out with the tomatoes and the onions. Um, I'm really interested to see how well people are going and read the support group and the Facebook page all the time and make a few comments myself. Uh, it's always interesting to see, you know, I, I was thinking of my 400 gram weight loss and I see people upset when they've gained 100 grams or um, at their losses or lack of losses. And I just, I'm still amazed at the losses that we can get. Losing 100 grams overnight to me, I think is amazing. And I weighed one of my eggs earlier. Now this is quite a big hen's egg. It's from my mate Chris at the Mulgrave Market and I bet it's a double yoker. But that weighs 90 grams. And if you can imagine losing, I don't know, 100 grams, 150, 200, when I lost that kilo overnight, that just blows my mind. So stick with it. Don't be upset by the small losses because they all add up. And um, I'm just gonna keep going. I know I've, I did, look, I was a bit unhappy at the gains the last three days, but I'm just going to stick to it. My, on Saturday, on Sunday, I had a big cook up and my weakest moment was I'd made all this beautiful food for the family and put some delicious chocolate bliss balls in the freezer and I so wanted one on Sunday night. I even got to the stage that I opened the drawer of this freezer and smelt the bliss balls. So we all go through these things, just stick to it because I know in the next couple of weeks, we are all going to be feeling amazing and um, there will be no turning back. So I hope week two of phase two is going really well for you. I hope you've checked out some of my recipes that I've been posting. The zucchini patties are a great hit. Um, yesterday, I posted trying to think what I put up there yesterday. Hmm. Ah, yesterday I posted my cauliflower naan bread, which 
is really delicious. I'd love you to try it. It's one of the recipes on the Changing Habits website. So if you want to see a visual of it, check out my YouTube channel. Unfortunately, I can't have the naan bread anymore, even though it is delicious, but I hope you can enjoy it. So I'll touch base next week for week three of our phase two. I hope you have a great week. Keep on going and I'll see you next time. Bye.